What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum reaction, a Screen Sanctum bonus reaction, because I finally found Toast of Tinseltown again. I've been looking for it for so long. I watched the first three episodes, and then all the episodes were gone. And yesterday, I finally found them, so I could finally watch the show again. So funny. Matt Berry is so funny. You might know him as Lazlo from What We Do in the Shadows, and Morkimer from Disenchantment, and a lot of other things. But... Oh, I'm so happy I got this back. As you can see, smiling. But anyways, before I get into this, I want to thank everyone who's already subscribed to the channel. If you want to see my full reactions like this a week before they drop on YouTube, then check me out on Patreon at Screen Sanctum. All right, Toast of Tinseltown, Dr. Granger, starting now. There he is. <laughs> As the motorcade approaches hey, Larry Texas David. Book Depository window, I love his voice. To finally murder her husband. This is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit? It wasn't Jackie Onassis when she was married to Kennedy. It was Jackie Kennedy. <laughs> What do you think? Do I need this shit? Yeah, and who told you Jackie Kennedy assassinated her husband? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> who was there? But more importantly, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> what? What do you What do you want? Nothing. I was just making sure you can hear me. <laughs> Look, do, do we have to? Oh God. This guy? His delivery is terrible, and don't get me <laughs> And of her philandering presidential husband. Soon she would be free of Jack. Oh my and god. Luxury yards. <laughs> Dr. Granger. This is so great, Jennifer. The names they come up with. Isn't this more like the kind of thing a hospital visitor would do rather than a, a doctor? Okay. Eh, uh, not Steve, bad. We've not seen much from you today. Would you like to try that? <laughs> I love his little white streak. <laughs> wow. You played a doctor before? No. Uh, well, I played a vet in an episode of The Archers for Radio 4, but I think they lost the tape. <laughs> okay, everyone, that's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow, except for Stephen. Honestly, I have nothing more to teach you. It reminds me of... Tobias from Arrested Development. Because I'm playing the lead role in the new Star Wars <laughs> movie. Uh, yeah, sure. And we still haven't, what? we still haven't even got to set. Are you playing Dr. Spock? Uh. Hey! Get out of there! You're blocking the entrance to my building! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> How about that, buddy? You like that? That's nasty. Was that man out there your father? Yeah. So what? Oh my God, what I've been is... seen him in forty years. Who knew you'd be such a goddamn nut? <laughs> Rust nightlife. Sure, he pressed the hell out of Richard Chicken Toss. I didn't do anything. I don't know what all the fuss is about. He's there to be in Star Wars, yet he's getting all these little bit parts. While she's driving. <laughs> I am so excited to meet you. This is so super exciting. Who's that? I can't recognize her face. 
They're the latest thing. They're based on horseshoes. Oh my god. Your foot. So they're a perfect fit. That's friggin' Hugs crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do we like here, Hoop? Hugs and smiles. What we heard you kicked ass. I didn't really do anything. You are being humble, Stephen. We don't do humble in this town. It's because I'm starring in the <laughs> new Star Wars movie. Yeah, sure. Sorry? That's messed up. One more thing, Mrs. Wise Hunt. I've just seen your x rays, <laughs> and you have six months to live. <laughs> Where are you staying? I'm staying with a friend. Well, he's not really a friend. If I'm honest, I'm desperate to get out. Well, I think you may be in luck. Hmm. Oh, really? my God. It's a fantastic penthouse. Here, I'll give you the key now. If only. Should only be a couple of weeks. Sounds splendid. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> My God, you are going to have such fantastic chemistry with Carmen. The hospital read through starring Carmen. This is going to be a porn, isn't it? Stephen Thrust, yep. I think I am uh, correct. Hmm. Is that like aphrodisiac candy? Oh my god. He ate them all. You're here. I've been here for three hours. Gosh, shoot. No one told you. No. Oh, sorry, Steven. Oh my god. Turn up at 12. I'm so sorry, someone should have told you. Yeah, I think someone should have told him. Haley, why did you forget to tell Mr. Toast not to turn up till 12? Look at his face. Oh, we have a little what we do in the shadows reunion here. They had Nandor in one of the first two episodes. <laughs> When you're eating this ass. Oh my god. When you're eating this ass. Scene one. Interior. Oh, he's got all the chocolate on his chin still. Splendid. Cock. With three A's. Would you like that? Excellent. I have one thing to say to you, Dr. Voranger. <laughs> what? Fuck these bitches, fuck them in the ass. I'm <laughs> oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Why does she have to sing a song in every bloody episode? Oh my god. Wait here, Toast. I gotta get my paint. Oh, Toast. Out of the trunk. Right. You get what you can get, man. Hey, man. I don't have any money and my mother will be back soon. <laughs> Surely not. Oh my god. Oh, I thought it was what's his name? Hey Carmen! children it's Who a cares? tv show i can get a billion dollars for that old building how do you like oh that? this is the show which i thought this was freaking i thought this was the real world i'm not really dr granger it's a park oh it is the real world that was that was odd i gotta get this it's rodrigo's <laughs> they have a small there's some really old cell phones in this show I'm sorry. Brother Eagles is dead! He just told me! He's dead or he's gay? You haven't moved in yet, have you? Well, I was planning on moving in today. I packed all my belongings this morning. Look at her. He's gay! 
We need what? To That's messed <laughs> up. Can't bring people here. No one should know where I am. Yeah, this is. I think that was rule number one. Agent. Oh my God, this is me. I say, Russ, you've trodden on her scarf. Let me help with that. What the hell? <laughs> what the frick? Oh, that's lucky. He landed on a soiled mattress. Who is that old homeless man? That's his father. Get off! Don't hug him. He doesn't like close personal <laughs> contact. So Toast has to go to the hospital, pretend to be Duck the Granger. The knob is there. All you gotta do is turn it to the right, and it'll all be over. They want him what? to kill her? It was her last request. It was Holy dying. shit. Hey, look, time's tight here, honey. Yeah, we got a plane to catch you back home for the dogs, you know what I'm saying? Hang on, what do the doctors think of this? Oh. Don't do it. She just said something. No. I heard nothing. Oh something. my god. No, nothing. This is some dark shit. <laughs> that is some dark shit. Give me a hug. No, no, I'm not going to fall for that hug bullshit. Come on. Oh, you big bear of a man. The show was a success. What? Money, man. Oh, there is another issue I'd like to talk about. What issue? You may be arrested for murder. But he didn't do it. Oh, but his fingerprints are on it. If you were charged with murder, it would reflect badly on the show. <laughs> Not necessarily. The Would you stop looking dubious? <laughs> anyway, you can't find me. I'm contracted for a second series. And as you said yourself, it's legally binding. Yep. So they either have to continue with them or pay him all the money. What a meanie. I like his shoes, though. Three hours late, Stephen. Yeah, but I thought... Since Rodrigo's has left now... I am always on time. Oh, Lord. No one told him. You wanted to see me, Mrs. Willoughby. If it's about... Chris Willoughby stabs Dr. Granger with a knife. Oh, my God. They killed off his character. He lies there motionless, like a piece of shit. He is dead. Very dead. Well, they still have to pay him. With her attractive younger lover, Jim Buckstar, played by Sonny Sam Disco. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good callback. Bigger than we'd ever dreamed of. I think I'd like an apartment. That's an odd sitcom. <laughs> Oh my god, let me pause this real fast. I want to see the cast. All right, let me look at this cast list. Let's see if I recognize any of the names, because I, I thought I recognized some of the faces. Uh, the receptionist, never heard of. Obviously, Russ Nightlife is Fred Armisen. Uh, I don't recognize that name. No, no, no. Obviously, Larry David, yes. Carmen, obviously. Um, Natasha from We'll Be Doing the Shadows. Let's go to the next page. It's no, no, Rashida Jones. Yes, obviously. Uh, Ashley, can you tell? Rachel's maybe, no, I don't recognize any of those names. Hmm. So maybe they were just people that looked like actors that I already know. But dude, this show is so funny and so off the wall because. You never know what kind of comedy they're going to throw in there or what is actually even going on. Like, how did they, I don't, watching the episode, I still don't understand how they switched up so bad on him where they loved him and he was a big part of the show and then they kill him off without there even being evidence that he was the one who actually killed the old lady. It's so weird, but this is a weird show and shit like this just happens. 
just like that scene when they're at the bar where when when it, you first get into the scene, I'm like, okay, this is Steven and Carmen sitting at a table and they're just having a conversation, you know, maybe about the show. And then they're talking to her, calling her Carmen. Um, and then I was like, oh, maybe this is a scene in the TV show. And then it's actually, no, people in the real world just like to like cosplay situations with the characters. That was really funny. Ah, Matt Berry is a genius. So Dr. Granger, obviously the title of the episode is the character he needs to play. Um, I think there's only two episodes left in this season. And I still have no idea if he's actually going to get a part in a Star Wars movie. That was the reason he went here. I don't know. Anything could happen. But every episode, it seems like he gets a little bit part here and there. And some shenanigans happens to him. And um, he seems like he has, like, not good luck and not bad luck. He just has, like, general middle of the road luck where he, he gets things, but not great, if that makes sense. But... I don't know. I love this series just because I love Matt Berry and all the cameos that he has in the show. So, like I said, I hope we get maybe Guillermo to cameo in the show. Who knows? We'll see. All right. I don't know if you all are even watching Toast of Tinseltown, but if you are, what did you think of this episode and my reaction? So, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you want to see my full reactions a week before they hit YouTube, then check me out at Patreon at Screen Sanctum. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.